What's up everyone, DBC4G here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over why I chose Samsung's Note 4 over Google's Nexus 6. Let's get started. Now, I will say, uh, I did actually want the Nexus 6. Um, the only Nexus devices that I've actually ever owned were the Nexus 7, Nexus 7, uh, the newer version, the 2013 version, and Google's Nexus 10. I've never owned any of the uh, phone Nexus uh, devices, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 5, or the Nexus 6, um, or even the original Nexus. Um, I've never actually uh, owned any of those devices, so I, I honestly did want my first Nexus uh, smartphone to be the Google Nexus 6, but uh, there were a few reasons why I had to actually go with the Note 4 over the Nexus 6 and choose the better device. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and share all of those uh, reasons with you. Now let's start off with what they have in common before I even get to uh, get into what features it has um, over the Nexus 6. They're both rocking three gigabytes of RAM. So anything that you're doing, it's gonna be speedy, um, you know, on, on both devices. Uh, a lot may argue that it may be a little bit faster on the uh, Nexus 6 because you're rocking actual stock Android with no touch whiz or or any actual overlay over Android. Eh, I mean, I've had my I've had my gripes with TouchWiz in the past. Honestly, um, I I actually want to give you an opinion on TouchWiz, and I'll wait a little bit further into the video for that. But they're both rocking uh, three gigabytes of RAM. Honestly, uh, the phone is, is is moving fine. The the phone is speedy. Um, you know, going in and out of apps. Everything is speedy. Um, I have no issues, no complaints about anything with the Note 4 at all. Um, they're both running uh, a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor clocked at 2.7 gigahertz backed by the Andrino 420 GPU. They both have fast charging capabilities. I think the Nexus 6 can get you six hours in like 15 minutes. Um, the Note 4 can get you half of the battery uh, in like 30 minutes, an hour will fill your battery of fast charging, um, which is amazing. Uh, you know, so, so that's great. Um, they both actually have the same size battery. Uh, they're both a 3,220 milliamp hour, uh, battery, though you will get a little bit more out of the Note 4's battery than you will the Nexus, uh, 6 battery. Um, and that's just performance wise it the screen is a little bit bigger on the Nexus 6 it's a 5.9 screen compared to a 5.7 screen um, so it's gonna be pushing a little bit more uh, um, on that screen than it will be on the Note 4 uh, so you're gonna get a little bit more uh, with the Note 4 that's another reason why I'm over over here I you know I need battery I need my battery so I love the fact that I get a little bit more battery out of the same battery size out of the two devices. The screen resolution on both devices are 2560 uh, by 1440. Though you have a little bit more uh, pixels per inch on the Note 4 uh, because it's a 5.7 screen compared to a 5.9. So you're going to be rocking five, uh, 515 uh, PPI compared to the Nexus 6 rocking 4. 193 PPI. And last but not least, they both have um, OIS, optical image stabilization on board uh, with your camera. Um, so those are the things that they have in common, um, the, the larger of the things that they have in common. Um, now let's talk about some of the reasons why I actually like this device more than the Nexus 6. I still like the Nexus 6, but if I had to pick and choose, you know, which one I would go with, uh, here are some of the reasons why I went with the Note 4. The camera is a 16 megapixel uh, rear shooter, uh, 3.7 megapixel uh, front-facing camera, 
as opposed to Nexus 6's uh, 13 megapixel rear shooter and uh, I believe it's a 2 megapixel front facing uh, shooter. I love being able to fingerprint scanner right into my phone. There are a lot of times where I'm around uh, friends or co-workers and I have to, and I'm forced, you know, well not forced, but if I'm trying to enter my device, um, I have to enter my password in front of them and, you know, that's not cool. So I love being able to just shoop, scan my finger. Um, I know that this was introduced on the S5, um, but I love the large screen. So when it came to the Note 4, I was like, oh my God, I need that. Uh, that feature over the Nexus 6 not having that feature uh, is is definitely a winner for me. As we all know, Nexus devices don't allow you to expand your storage and actually, you know, put in an SD card or anything like that. Well, Samsung allows you to do that, no problem. You can you can drop an SD card in your Note 4 and expand it to 128 gigabytes of memory. That's amazing. The S Pen, man, I love the S Pen. I love being able to do so many, you know, cool things with uh, the S Pen. Let's give you an example. If I wanted to save John's number in here, um, now I wrote that kind of kind of crazy, but we all could see that. Um, let's link that to an action. It saved John's name and it allowed me to enter that number. So that's really cool. I love those kind of features uh, of the note um, and of the S Pen. Um, there are lots of other cool features about the S Pen. This is actually not a video about the S Pen, so we're not gonna go into every feature, but I will, you know, that is one of the reasons why I chose this device over that of the Nexus 6. Okay. So another feature that I love about the Note 4 is being able to use the device in one-handed mode. As you can see, I can minimize and move this screen around and still be able to use this device while I'm using the device in the background and use it with one hand if I wanted to. And then I can make that big again if I wanted to. Another feature that I love over the Nexus 6 is the built-in IR blaster. I love being able to use my Note 4 to control my TV. Uh, I can see what shows are on now. And you know, with the click of a button, you know, even if you even notice, there's this, there's this line here that's showing me exactly where they are in the show. You know, this one just American Dad just started. Uh, Law, and, Law and Order is, you know, about 75% done. But I love that feature. I can click right here and control and you open up my remote and control my TV with this, no problem. You know, that's awesome feature. You know, that, that feature is a win uh, for me personally. Another feature that I grew in love with is multitasking on a Note 4. If I wanted to, I could open up a browser and I can open up a video. So I can catch up on my, you know, on my latest videos that I may have been missing on YouTube while I'm browsing uh, the web. You know, just catching up on anything that I could have missed uh, and whatnot. So I love multitasking on Note 4. Uh, it's an amazing feature. Um, you know, you, you really can't beat it. Can't beat it at all. The next feature that I love about my Note 4, and I have to say this feature has to be like my top feature that I love about this Note 4. And that feature is ultra power saving. With 60% battery, I can get almost nine and a half days. Um, if this thing were full, I think it was giving me uh, close to like 14 days or, or, or something like that. But nine and a half days on 60% charge, that's crazy. That's crazy. 
you're telling me I'm lasting over a week on a single charge. Nexus 6 ain't doing that. The Nexus 6 is not doing that. I know that they interest, uh, introduced something similar uh, in Lollipop uh, in Android 5.0. Uh, to you know help on battery saving and, and whatnot no one's doing it like Samsung at this point at this point ultra power saving mode from Samsung is actually untouched it's unmatched so if you're looking for this feature um, if you if you if you feel like you could use this feature definitely note 4 is where you want to be um, the Nexus 6 is not going to give you the same amount of battery battery power normally without ultra power saving mode um it's not going to give you the same amount of battery power without it and with it it's definitely untouched definitely untouched so note 4 is where you want to be if you need a device to last you for a very long time before we finish up here i definitely feel like i have to mention samsung's uh touch Wiz update this is still running uh, Android 4.4.4. Uh, it's still KitKat. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not Android Lollipop. You're still running 4.4.4 uh, here. But I will say that, man, this version of TouchWiz has got to be the best version of TouchWiz they've ever done. Samsung, whatever you're doing with TouchWiz on this Note 4, please, please keep it up. Man, TouchWiz used to be very ugly. I would say TouchWiz is getting a lot closer to stock Android um, than it was before. It's They're starting to clean up a lot of their uh, menus and, and uh, you know, it's just starting to get a lot cleaner. And honestly, I'm loving what they're doing right now with TouchWiz. Honestly, I'm loving it. Man, Samsung, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a thumbs up on, on, on TouchWiz at this point. Those are the reasons why I chose the Note 4 over uh, the Nexus 6. Now, let's remember one thing. This is Android. If I wanted to, I can actually make this a better Nexus 6. The device already is a better device than the Nexus 6 itself. Software wise, we can make this a better Nexus 6 than the Nexus 6. Once that video is done, I'm going to have an annotation right here uh, linking to that new video. But what that what I'm going to do in that video is I'm actually going to turn this device, turn the Note 4 into a better Nexus 6. So stay tuned for that video. Again, it's gonna be uh, linked right right about here. So make sure that you stay tuned for that video because when that video comes out, we're gonna be turning this bad boy into a better Nexus 6. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So until next time, thanks for checking out the video. Leave a like uh, if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment if you agree or disagree with anything that I said, or let me know which, which phone you grabbed. Did you get the Nexus 6? Did you get the Note 4? Which one did you get? Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video, guys. Peace. What's up, everyone? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And be sure to check out more awesome content by using the buttons to my left and my right. See you in the next one. Peace.